Hey y'all, welcome back to the party. It's me, your girl, Britt Reacts, and today we're reacting to Alanis Morissette, Uninvited. Let's see what she has to say. To that like sweet falsetto she her I don't I don't have the words to explain what I think her voice sounds like or what it makes me feel like but y'all know we all hear it that like it's quirky it's so unique it's like mystical magical unicornish <laughs> I've just never I probably say this every time I've listened to her, but I've never heard a voice like hers. And it just blows my mind that it can be both so like childlike, but like mature. You know, I don't know. It, it really, it, I can't wrap my mind around how else to explain that. the stoic squirm I think is what she said uh the music is only adding to the mysticalness of it all the mystified aura that is this woman the like bongo with the buh, 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 and the crescendo of the orchestra coming in it really just I don't know the con it's it's so complimentary to her voice and the style of it and there's also a twinge of like eeriness and that could just be the song, but I think her voice also t lends to like this eerie kind of like what's around the corner feeling. Does anybody understand where I'm coming from <laughs> or is it just me? <laughs> kiss of yodel too is like her vocal technique is it is it's it's incomparable i'm never I, I have no one to compare it to um it just feels so unique and specific to her being um it feels like if a fairy could sing <laughs> I'm really trying my best to articulate how I feel, okay? And that's what I got for you. It feels like if a fairy, if Fern Gully or Tinkerbell opened her mouth and sang a song, it'd be like this. Like, she's belting. She's got the falsetto. She's got that, like, the the yodels, the break. She's got it all. But it just feels so youthful and light that that's where the fairy part comes in. You know, give her some wings and a little green dress, and she's a fairy.
stunning. Stunning. I don't think you unworthy, but I need a moment to deliver. I think the other thing is she sings as if she has an accent, like she's not American, but I am a hundred percent sure that the first song I ever heard her sing she spoke she was speaking in an interview with Howard Stern and she sounds I don't know she could be Canadian but she had a very like what felt like American accent but she sings as if she's got like a really thick accent from somewhere else she, she goes you you're on it like it feels like it could be foreign which I think is so cool it's so cool because typically when you hear someone, a lot of times, you know, it's always so interesting because artists who are from places that have thicker, deeper accents, they sing and their accent kind of goes away. And you're like, what? How is that possible? So like for it to be reversed, is kind of cool to me. But I think that's another thing to me that mystifies her is the, uh, the accent, the twang of which she sings in is like... You can't place it. At least I can't place it. So let me know. Is she from Cana Canada? Is she from Canada? Really? Is she Canadian? <laughs> Not. I, I feel like I know. I know Canadians, and I I know they have like an accent, but it doesn't feel like it would be that thick when you sing. Where is Where is she from? Let me know in the comments. Thank you. wonder for artists that uh sing in front of like large orchestras like how that feels for them like what that surge of live music because as an audience member someone receiving the entertainment live music changes the entire atmosphere so I wonder as the performer who's standing in front of this entire orchestra what that surge of energy and adrenaline feels like like I just like how do you come down from that like how do you just go home and go to bed? You know what I mean? I don't know. Her voice. I've said all I need to say, you guys. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know where she's from. And go and have the day you deserve. Peace. Hey, y'all. Before the video ends, I just want to let you know, merch is here. Well, it's coming. It's just a few days. <laughs> The Have the Day You Deserve collection is on the way. It is available July 4th for all Patreon members and July 11th for everyone. I have left a preview here on the screen for you. I hope you are as excited as I am and I hope to get to see you in the merch. Go and have the day you deserve.